Angel Season 4 has long plagued the fandom with its enigmatic twists and turns. Its earlier episodes seem to be laying the groundwork for a really great story arc, but it swiftly plummeted into an abyss of confusion and bewilderment, leaving its loyal viewers scratching their heads and wondering what the hell happened. Amidst the chaos of this ever-debated season, a curious conversation between Dala and Connor has caused quite a stir among the fans, with many arguing that this version of Dala was actually the first evil, trying to prevent Connor from bringing Jasmine into the world. What I think triggered this theory is a specific line of dialogue from Dala to Connor. I have her memories, her feelings. Isn't that what makes a person who they are? I, however, disagree with this theory believing instead that Dala was attempting to prevent her son from tainting his soul by taking the life of an innocent. Join me as I delve into the madness that is Angel Season 4 and share my reasons for opposing this popular theory. So, was Dala really the first? The particular episode that kicked off this theory, Angel SO4E7 Inside Out, has a scene that has Connor debating with a vision of Dala as she tries to stop him from anointing his unborn child with the blood of an innocent. Cordelia's manipulation of Connor ultimately leads him to make the wrong decision, staining his soul and transforming him into a murderer. I understand why some people would think that the vision of Dala is the first evil. The mention of Dala's memories and the events in Sunnydale at the time serve as compelling counterpoints. My personal belief is that Jasmine was capitalising on the chaos in Sunnydale to quell any potential resistance from the human race in the event that the first triumphed. In the event that the first failed, Jasmine would still have her own dominion. This win-win scenario would undoubtedly have appealed to Jasmine. She may have claimed to be a power that was, but she was also an old one from the days when demons ruled the earth. Throughout the seventh season of Buffy, many demons chose sides, and I contend that Jasmine, in a roundabout way, chose the side of evil. Jasmine was a soul eater, enjoyed the pain of her followers, employed nearly unstoppable demons, and the main reason for my theory? She blocked out the sun. If Angelus had not been so cocky and vanquished the beast, darkness would have spread from LA across the world enabling the Turrican to spread across the planet without the fear of setting ablaze in the sunlight. Call out the greenhouse Very dangerous. When Skip informed Team Angel about all the tweaks that had to be made for Cordelia to become a higher being so that Jasmine could be reborn from her, I believe he was lying to an extent, or at least he had been lied to. My hypothesis is that the plan began to take shape after Buffy's resurrection rather than the very first episode of Angel. Now hear me out. After Buffy's resurrection, it became clear to Jasmine that someone with a more than human constitution could return from the higher plane. Buffy's resurrection presented an opportunity for the first to wage war and reclaim the earth for the demons. It is my belief that this is when Jasmine selected a side. During season three that ran alongside Buffy series six, Cordelia's visions began to prove fatal. Jasmine saw an opportunity to enlist Skip as Cordelia's guide so they could manipulate her into becoming part demon. This transformation made it possible for Cordelia to ascend as a higher being, and more importantly, return so that Jasmine could commandeer her body and give birth to herself. Now I probably know what some of you are thinking, what about these guys? My theory is they were not only a test run, it is well established in the Buffyverse that time moves differently within demon dimensions, so she could have instigated this between Buffy's resurrection and Cordelia's birthday, but that she was going to open a gateway if the first succeeded and let them through. Why else would this random demon be on our side of the portal? Jasmine, the devourer, needed to be worshipped, and these creatures would provide that for her if the human race fell. No, that's not what you're thinking. It was Lila's statement about Team Angel ending world peace. End world peace? Well, you already took care of that. Congratulations. Well, honestly, I think that was just another manipulation from Wolfram and Hart to get Angel where they wanted him. They had their own apocalyptic plans and had been manipulating Angel since season one in hopes he'd be on their side when the day comes. So there is no reason to think they would cease that manipulation now. All of this is why I believe that the powers that be allowed Dala to return to her son. As higher beings, the powers that be could probably see what was coming, and in a last ditched attempt, sent Dala to try and reason with Connor and bring him back to the light. So what do you think? 
Do you agree with my points I've made? Do you feel I've missed anything? If you have your own theories, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.